All right, guys. I just want to say thanks again for giving me the opportunity to get in here and show off the Crexy platform to you. Now, we only have about 15 minutes, so I won't spend a whole lot of time on intros and the uh, history or anything like that. But real quick, my name is Travis. I uh, do come from a commercial real estate software background. Spent some time with companies like Yardi and Excelligent. You guys are familiar with those. Uh, really excited to be here at Crexy because uh, you know right now we are the fastest growing commercial real estate listing site out there, right? The fastest growing transactional site in the CRE space. And so the way we were started about three years ago now, a, a team of brokers got together and they just found that you know the industry wasn't providing the software out there that provided the functionality they needed. So they teamed up with a, a team from Apple, engineers and developers, and created Crexy. And when they started about a little less than three years ago, they had four postings on the original site. And now we can boast that we've brought over 100,000 properties to the market. We also have a user database of 100,000 users. Uh, we're adding to that constantly. We're adding 10,000 users every single month. And uh, of those users, 85% are buyers. So you're not going to be in the day with fellow brokers. But we'll get you straight to those principles. So that's about it for the history that I have. I want to dive right into this with you guys. So when you go to Crexy.com, what you're going to find is the Crexy landing page. Now, it is geolocated, so you do see the beautiful skyline of Los Angeles because that's where we are right now. And then on the right, you'll see some featured properties that some of our professional or pro users have posted. Now, I can use the industry-leading search bar here and go ahead and type in a brokerage like CBRE or even an area like Los Angeles. But that's uh, I want to show off the full power of the search capabilities over here under the search properties tab and pull up all the filters. Now, I will pause for a second and point out the fact I am not even logged in. So I have not created a profile or obviously spent a penny on these kind of features. I just, uh, as if I'm coming to the site for my first time. So I go ahead and pop out this filters tab and it's gonna give me all the parameters that I can search by. Now, a lot of these will look familiar to you uh, being industry standard and whatnot. But some of the ones that Crexy does that really sets us apart is things like remaining term left on that lease. So if you're going to you know, go ahead and pick up a retail property, you can know it's a secure asset. It's going to bring back some income. And then you're also able to search by tenancy with the checkbox of vacant. So kind of running along those same lines, if you're going to go ahead and be more of an owner operator, you're able to have a building all to yourself. I want to do a search though. It's a little more broad. So I'll search California. I will search uh, here under retail. And then let's go ahead to this tenancy and search multi because I want a nice big building. Uh, again, feel free to stop me at any time, guys, if you want me to go slower or you have any questions. But what's going to pop up here is our search results. It's always going to be split between a map and a grid view. Uh, I could go through the map view functionalities, but I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with them. You're able to do a draw search or a radius search uh, if you want to get real granular with where, uh, what territory you're searching in. But for the sake of display, I'm going to click over to a grid view so you get a nice uh, kind of idea of the properties that we have listed here. Now you'll see over in the top left, there are 316 properties that came back for that result. Now that's a good amount of data. That's a good number to get back. So I might want to save this search. So what you can do when you do uh, either sign up for a free membership or become a member, you can actually save searches that not only you can go back to really easily in the future, you can actually be notified anytime a property is added to our site that fits your save search criteria. Does that make sense? So I'm going to click on one of these. Um, this one looks good to me. A nice CBRE property in Temecula. So this is the property landing page where you're going to go to uh, get the gist of what's going on at the property. Again, guys, not logged in and I can access all this information. Uh, here you'll see a nice picture slide show up top. You're actually able to, if you guys do, I don't know if you have yet, but, but if you do a 3D video, uh, one of those drone videos, you can load it up here. We are capable with that. All the listing brokers will be down here below with their logo brand right next to them. The asking price, obviously, nice big number there. And uh, all the property information over here on the right side, your investment highlights and some details. So a little bit of things that, you know, Crexy is doing differently than some competitors out there on this page is uh, our due diligence capabilities. We'll dive a little deeper into that in a second, but just know that we're able to store up to one gigabyte of due diligence information in this vault. 
and uh, there's a few different ways to access it. But if you guys have any questions about the specific property landing page, I want to kind of jump back over to our, our real meat and potatoes of the site, which is our uh, tracking capabilities, things like that. So as I come here, I'm going to come back to my dashboard again. Remember our landing page, pardon me. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now when I log in, I'm able to see my Crexy or my dashboard. Now when I click on this, it'll populate or automatically send me to my dispositions. So these are all the properties I have listed on Crexy right now for sale. Now right here from this page, you can kind of get a really good snapshot of what's going on. Uh, things like recent activity and any kind of bids that have, have happened or any real offers that you've gotten. But you can also do things like print out a full report of, uh, we call it a master report of all the properties you have listed on our site, all the activity that's related with them in an Excel spreadsheet. And uh, you're also able to send out an email blast for marketing purposes and things like that. But let's go ahead and dive deeper into one of these properties and see the functionality we can use there. So once I do pull up this property overview, I love showing off this page because it's so uh, you know, aesthetically pleasing. It, it just looks really clean and simple and it gives you the information that you want to see and you care about. So here we have our page view timeline. You can tell from June 14th till today, um, we can see all the views that happen on a daily basis. And you see there's some peaks here with little orange dots at the top. Now these orange dots represent marketing campaigns that Crexy has sent out on your behalf. So we actually create our own and then send out our own marketing campaigns and we'll include your properties on the ones that pertain, uh, which is a really great feature. I mean, there's a lot of services out there that charge a couple hundred bucks every time they do that and it all comes with the one package. So if you want to dive deeper into some activity that's been going on in your property, we'll click on one of these tiles in a second and drill, drill into it. But we can look at a Instagram or Facebook style uh, activity feed. We can look at some more data concerning that marketing that went on, some click rates and some delivery rates, things like that. Or we can actually go look for an individual person. That's what we'll do now. We'll go ahead and see who opened our OMs. Looks like this gentleman, Ray H. King. We can see everyone that opened the OM here. But I'm going to pick on Ray King. And uh, as I do hit his name, a lead drawer is going to populate from the right hand side of the screen. Now, when this pops out, it's going to go ahead and give me all his contact information all his buyer evaluations, and an activity feed that's associated with this property. So that way, anytime uh, Mr. King comes back to this property to maybe make an offer or just to check it out again for a second or third time, you know that he's uh, you know taking time out of his day to give you multiple visits. Now, to kind of go along with the activity tracker, we also have notes. And we kind of call this a CRM light. Because you're able to kind of put notes in with Mr. King and it's going to stick with him wherever he goes to the software. And all the notes are going to be accessible by your team members that are associated with this property. Does that make sense? Okay. So I just wanted to uh, kind of highlight that feature and an ability to really stay on top of your deals and who you're pursuing. So if I'm sticking here on this Tri-City Crossroads, um, there's a few more features I want to show off, like our direct links. You can throw one of these up on your um, Instagram or social media account, and that way your followers can go ahead and access the information. And you can come in here and actually do some editing to the property that you have posted. A uh, big one I like to talk about is due diligence at this point. So we do have two different levels of due diligence. We have the first level where all they have to do is come in and fill out a CA. If you guys don't have a confidentiality agreement that you use on a regular basis, we have one we can provide for you, or you can bring your own, uh, either way. And again, once they fill out that CA, they'll be you know, given access to your entire vault of uh, all your due diligence. Now the second tier is gonna be a little more secure, whereas not only are they gonna have to come in, fill out a CA, they're also going to have to uh, get your approval. So once they do fill out that CA, you get sent their profile and you're able to approve or deny them as a uh, potential buyer. So the two different forms, you guys can kind of choose which one you want as far as tiers go and uh, no price difference or anything like that, totally up to you. Now, before I leave this property overview, I would be amiss to not at least mention or go ahead and pull up and take the time to show you a lead report. So this is one of the most important tools, uh, definitely one of the most powerful tools in the software. 
because it's going to show off our Excel exporting capabilities. So it's really nice. You get that pre-branded uh, head letterhead up there on the top. You get the property information, and then you get all the activities that's been going on. Great for owners, great for just your own personal tracking, and kind of uh, showing off what's been going on at the property. And like I said, it exposed to Excel, and it comes over very clean. Now, if you guys don't have more questions about the property overview specifically, I'm going to jump onto the dashboard and talk about some more tools here. So another tool I want to touch on is the marketing. So if you guys are using something like a constant contact or a MailChimp or something like that right now, I find a lot of my clients will actually kind of switch over to our marketing campaign tool and, uh, you know, kind of cut out that third party price or cost, I should say. So I am on here playing around with a demo site and we try not to send out you know, many emails that are uh, not associated with a real broker. I'm not a real broker. I'm over here selling some software. So I, I don't have the right click rate, but something we really boast here at Crexy is a 6% click rate on our marketing campaigns. Now, if you compare that to the industry industry, <laughs> industry standard, it's going to be around one to one and a half. So you guys, you said you're using constant contact right now. They're going to be floating right somewhere in that range. Whereas, uh, you know, 6% is something that we boast proudly. Now I have you guys on the line. I'll show you how easy it is to make a new campaign. I can almost fill out the whole entire thing. I totally could fill out the entire thing here and uh, push the campaign out by today while I have you on the phone. So the reason that's so simple is all your dispositions from the previous page are going to be pulled over here. <coughs> Pardon me. And easy for you to grab quick checkbox functionality and you can uh, add them to your template. Now this 2018 so it looks good on a smartphone as it should. Um, we can come in here and get our design on and kind of really choose a color. If we like a specific uh, brand blue or something along those lines, we can do that. Or we can upload our own design. If you guys have a design team or a flyer you always like to use, you can upload your own design here. Once we do get our design on, we can go ahead and pick the brokers we want on the deal. Pick any recipients we want to add to it. And this is where we're going to get in the email list and our uh, kind of bringing over those contacts from, you know, any uh, contact service you guys use. We'll talk about that more in about 20 seconds, I promise. But um, after we do pick the email list, and we'll just use my test one for now, we are actually able to come into the email settings and change around the subject line, uh, obviously add a message or an overview, things like that. And, uh, you know, one of the most powerful tools of the whole system and definitely with the marketing campaign itself is our ability to schedule out these campaigns. So you kind of put yourself in the, the shoes of a broker and he needs to send out all these campaigns throughout the month. He doesn't want to send them all on the same day, obviously. So he has to, you know, keep himself busy the entire month long. Whereas using Crexy, you're able to come in here on the first, spend a little bit of time, set them all up to go out on certain dates throughout the month and you're uh, you're done on the first day so a really powerful tool and really functional as well so i'll talk a little bit about those email lists that i promised you because it is a huge feature the marketing itself and the tracking of the marketing is really something we hang our hat on here so as this pops up i want to remind you, you again you're able to load over those contacts from constant contact I'm sure you guys have some lists that attack uh, certain verticals and whatnot. You're actually able to bring over those lists, have them individual from one another, and really uh, you know, target your marketing. And uh, something to touch on here, we will never disseminate any of this information. We will never sell it off. Uh, it's something that really strong feedback we got from the industry, and uh, we can all see why, right? So that's something we do take to heart. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the marketing, I am going to jump over here to pursuits and uh, sorry if I, i'm jumping around too much or going too fast go ahead and let me know if you ever get lost i will backtrack but let's say i want to go ahead and pursue an exclusive exclusive listing with uh, an owner right i'm out at a coffee shop this guy just came over and uh, moved here from cleveland and uh and so he has some properties he needs repped make the contact now i know i want to pursue him i can drag him over to this next stage I can go ahead, once I get him signed, I can actually uh, put him under my listing signed area. And this is really customizable, drag and drop, easy to use functionality. 
a lot of my clients will actually customize this for their own little um, endeavors or things they're doing. They need to keep a pipeline up. Now, I want to touch on the closing tracker for a second as well. So here under the closing tracker, this is a great way to streamline the entire closing process. So it's going to have all of your uh, critical dates up top with a nice critical date timeline that follows it along, keeping you on track. You'll have all your closing checklists over here on the left. And then you'll have your closing party where everyone can kind of get in one place and uh, you know communicate well about this issue, about any issue that might pop up, I should say. So from this closing dashboard, we're kind of up against the time, guys. So I will always like to end on notifications and property preferences. So like I said from the beginning, as you saw yourself, we do send out a lot of notifications because we want you guys to stay informed. So what I always recommend to my clients for you guys to get the best usage, come in here, take a little bit of time, set up the notifications the right way. And uh, that way, it'll pull directly from these property preferences and load up all the uh, pertinent buildings you want to see in your area. And not only load up for you to access here, but also directly send to you via email. Uh, but if you guys have any questions or any comments or anything like that, I will go ahead and wrap up. And I hope everyone has a good one.